first spot. It's my grunt spot. Those are all grunts. Lots of grunts. And then just depending on the current, because the pipe runs through here, that's the salt ponds out that side. That side comes just cuts through Key West and then comes from the Gulf. And then you got over here where all the barracudas are at. Should have came here for my shark bait. Look at all those dudes. Um, we got snappers. But um, coming up here soon, as soon as we start getting some northern storms, cold weather storms, um, where it might bring the keys down into the 60s, then the shrimp will start running. So you can catch them through here. You'll see guys out with the catch nets and lights at nighttime, scooping them up. But right now, nice size group uh, snappers, but right now just barracudas scaring everything off. But that's the first spot. A little bit small, but would have been good for the shark bait. So moving on. the public boat ramp on on Stock Island. Kind of hidden in here. Late night fishing and hanging out bum spot. Grunt, snappers, lots of beer bottles. A lot of grass flats out here so that's where all the bait's going to be but you can chum them in or when the current's running. There's a mullet. So a lot of bait around. There's some scattering over there. Good bucket if someone needs it. There's no parking on this ramp, on this public boat ramp, but the parking for the boats are over there next to the Shell Station. That's Key Haven Road. But you can just probably park here, come up here, throw the net, grab your bait, and then just head out of here. 
during the weekend this boat launch is busy but during the week there's nobody here so it's no big deal so moving on <laughs> primary bait spot tide is just starting to turn so it'll just start going out here um, although you generally cast right here the pinfish actually are in that surrounding grassy areas so if you throw anywhere around in the grass you'll find the pinfish because they hide in the grass they're not really free swimmers um, if you put the chum bag out right now and then throw the cast net there, you'll definitely get a bunch. But just for blind casting, hit the grass. The other side of this pipe is over there in that uh, opening there. Don't really utilize it a lot because of. Um, there's no parking over there because of that railing. So uh, you could park towards the front there or on this side and then go across. And we'll try to check that out. So this is the opposite side of that pipe. Current's coming in, so it's really not the right time. Uh, the better spot is actually when the tide is going out, and then if you get on that side of those bushes and then cast net out. There's some barracudas in there, snappers. But this side is generally not worth the hassle of crossing the freeway or parking on the side here. But it's a spot.
these are the pipes on NAS. I don't do a lot of uh, bait catching here, more fishing and then the night tarpon. But you could park either on that side or just on the other side where those signs are. But here's a real good fishing spot. Man, barracudas everywhere. But I also catch uh, my sh live shrimp here at nighttime, save a couple extra bucks. But you can cast net anywhere on the sides here, catch fish, bait. Uh, this tide's going on the inside, so it's the other side that would be better. Run over there without getting killed. No parking on this side, so park over there and play chicken on the side of the road. And this would be the better side. So the mullet. Nice hog legs. But for cast netting, you'd hit these sides here, sides over there. It's pretty deep over here, so I wouldn't throw the net in the middle. Uh, if you were hooking line, you'd catch a lot. You can see tons of bait fish on the bottom. So generally, the outgoing side is the side that you would target to uh, pretty much fish, catch bait, anything. Let's see if we get back to the other side. Mount Dian. So that's as far east as I want to go. Then I have a couple more spots on this other side on the way back in that will hit. But pretty much you can catch the pinfish grunts fairly easily so it's not that bad. But this spreads it out in case there's other people already using it or you need to catch a lot. So, moving on. Is at a good spot, good snapper spot as well. But another outlet. This is opposite the boat launch.
not a lot of current right now. This spot's over here by the college and the, um, the, the hospital, but good prime areas over here. And there's shark. Lots of bait, snappers, barracudas. Lots of barracudas. That's Key Haven or Key Haven Road where I launch from just at the end there when I go out to the Gulf backcountry. But you can launch from here as well. That's just closer, so. But there's bait. A lot of different spots over here. It's pretty wide, a lot of water flow through here. But still crazy windy, like you can see. But 